Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a little bit more noise out of your car, get that sound, and put a blow-off valve and charge tubes on your Can Am X3. Check it out. Are quiet does it not make enough noise do you want it louder watch this video because we're going to install some charge tubes and a blow up valve it's going to be pretty dope check it out all right first things first we're going to remove some of these parts that are going to gain clearance for us because the charge tubes are kind of in there uh, first we're going to start off with this panel it's just five torques one two three four and five really easy put that out of the way next we're going to take out some of this ducting so we get our hands on some of the uh, intake tubes um, so we're going to remove this duct in here. I've already loosened it, and CJ's going to go ahead and take that off. <laughs> Get your ass to work, boss. So they're just 7 millimeters. Loosen them up, or you can use a Phillips screwdriver, but I find it easier. A 7 millimeter on an uh, electric ratchet makes it um, easy work. Take this one off, too. So this one pops off from there, and then this kind of pops off. There you go. So this has a clamp at the bottom. At the top, it's just got a, you know, a pin a hanger that goes through those are really easy to take off so now you have more access to what they call the charge tubes or um the factory probably calls just regular uh intake hoses or tubes or whatever you call them all right so this is the smaller charge tube this is going to go on the driver's side of the intercooler and you can probably see it right about there the big giant hose and that's going to go from there to what i believe is the turbo so we're going to take off the cover from the inside and show you guys what we're talking about so that pops off just like that and this is the hose that um, we're talking about for the uh, intercooler to the turbo so super simple the other one is going to be a little bit more of a pain because there are some hoses that run along there there are some zip ties you're gonna have to cut and you just have to be a little bit more careful but this one's gonna be pretty much a piece of cake all right guys we loosened the hose clamp at the throttle body i took out the screw that's right here it's a torx and you're gonna go ahead and take this off because we're gonna want to gain access to this tube we we'll are be able to remove it so we're gonna go ahead and pull this one off just like that so now that one's off we'll get the hose clamp and get it out of the way the kit comes with new hose clamps so you don't have to worry about uh reusing these but still keep these in a safe place along with your hoses so let's go ahead and get the other side off and that's all it is to it just take this guy off oh my god it's still running tight oh. Make sure, you let the know, make sure you let the people know that you're, that you're struggling because i'm not struggling dog you want to show them how to do it without taking off the exhaust no yeah, yeah yeah you don't have to take off the exhaust now we could take off the exhaust because we are going to do a shocker install on this too but uh, i figured we do a separate video for each because not everyone is buying multiple items at once uh you're most likely just gonna buy some charge tubes and a blow valve first and then maybe down the road you're gonna get an exhaust so step by step on this one we're gonna just do the charge tubes but um yeah it probably would be easier if the exhaust was out of the way so uh, so that tube's out of the way now we can pretty much take it out of the car and then uh, we'll focus on the plumbing for the blow off valve so pretty much the charge tube runs along this area here um, and there is this piece here that you have to make sure you keep if you want to put it back to factory obviously we want to put it as a uh, nice and neat as we want as we can and um this hooks in through the bottom and at the top it just it's just that torque screw so we'll put this aside for now so when it comes to the other charge tube that one's really easy just pull that one off from here ah 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 and it looks like it came off the turbo already pretty damn simple all right so you're gonna want to cover up this nibble unless you're running a uh, boost gauge which we're not and um this port it does come with a uh, piece to also cover up but we are going to be running a blow off valve so we're not going to need that so um i think i got this on there right pretty much just pinch the uh, hose clamp on there make sure that's nice and tight you don't want that popping off while you're riding all right so check it out here's the blow off valve right there and then you're just gonna go ahead and move <laughs> All right, so here's the blow-off valve. You're gonna wanna put this uh, little sock in here. That's for uh, sand, debris, rocks. You don't want that getting in here because um, although most of the time it's blowing out air, uh, there could be times where it actually sucks something in, so you don't want that. I can't even get this thing on. God damn, dude. 
I'm no bitch. I'm no bitch. I'm no bitch. Come on. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on here, and we're gonna need a clamp, which is this guy right here. That ends like that. All right, that's on there. Pretty good. Make sure the nipple pops out of the blow-off valve, and um, yeah, it's on there nice and tight. Before we install this, there's some plumbing, and before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and install this one because uh, this one's uh, a lot easier to install with this one out of the way. Be very mindful of which way these clamps are pointing. You don't want this right into the intercooler or hitting the turbo or one or the other. Uh, but I think I got it right there. Um, it's gonna be easy to access to tie it down. Also, not gonna be in the way of stuff. I'm gonna feed it to you on that side. So you can do this by yourself, but um, since I got extra hands, we're gonna go ahead and use them. All right, check it out. So that's on there. All I gotta do is tighten down the clamp. Just very, be very sure that the silicone uh, charge tube is over the lip of the uh, you know intake intercooler tube. So the, the portion that's sticking out of the intercooler, make sure it's over the lip and pretty much just tighten it down right there. So check it out. Uh, for all four of these clamps, you're gonna wanna make sure that the orientation of the clamp is in such a way that the bolt isn't gonna start rubbing on something. Cause you could literally rub a hole through the holes or through one of the lines. And if you got oil, you know, going everywhere, you're gonna be pissed off. So um, shout out to Evo. They actually make a really, really, uh, um, or they source a really, really good uh, clamp. It looks pretty sturdy and um, it went on with no problems. And it seems to be a very tight fit on that charge too. So, so I don't think we'll have a leak or anything like that. It's gonna be pretty, pretty good. All right guys, there's a block off port right here on the intake. You're gonna wanna take that off. Cause we're gonna use that for our vacuum for our uh, blow off valve so go ahead and take that plate off then we're gonna want to grab our new one and um we're gonna transfer over this o-ring just like that and we'll put this back on okay. all right guys let's put on the other charge tube and then last we'll put this vacuum hose on all right if you have a buddy go ahead and have him twist the holes in the manner that you're gonna want it so it's gonna go like that. Before I start putting this on the throttle body, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hose clamp and put that on. Like that. All right guys, even with the exhaust in the way, I can reach my hand in there and go ahead and put the clamp over the fucking thing here. Go like that. Uh, no big deal. We'll come back to this. We're gonna go ahead and put the bracket that goes over here. All right, this clamp needs to go back on the uh, plastic here. And that's pretty much to retain everything. We're moving all right let's tighten up the charge tube clamps remember make sure you avoid anything from rubbing because uh, you don't want no holes especially when you got cooling lines right in here all right guys last thing put on your vacuum line we'll go ahead and put the clamps on and then use a set of pliers i don't have the correct pliers but i just use some of these uh side cutters that you pretty much pinch them yeah some dikes you're a dyke, is it? <laughs> We're gonna put one side onto the intake port, that uh, piece that we installed, and the other side is gonna go to the top of the uh, blow-off valve. Then we're gonna go test this out and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna put a GoPro right next to that blow-off valve so you can hear the full <laughs> sound. <laughs> that sound good. Remember, when you're using these to tie in this, don't go crazy. You don't wanna cut this thing off, but it's pretty strong, so you get enough pressure on there to put a real nice clamp on the hose. So the other side goes on the blow-off valve, like so. Pretty simple, same exact process. All right guys, and that's all there is to it. The uh, blow off valve is installed. We're gonna go ahead and take it for a little test run and see how it sounds. But first we're gonna install these intake tubes back on the car. Uh, we're pretty much same exact process as removing them. And um, yeah, let's check out what it sounds like.
All right, guys, if you want to make your friends jealous, like I am of these two suckers right here, put a blow off valve. It sounds freaking amazing, at least on this car with 195 horsepower. The blow off valve sings, it just freaking sings, man. It really does make a difference. It makes a sound that actually kind of exhilarates you. It makes you feel like it's a, a faster car than it really is. Well, I mean, it is fast, but it just, it gives it, even, it gives it even more of a freaking uh, awesome factor. So really cool. Badass, all the products that we use today are from Evo and they all seem to be really high quality. Uh, the blow-up valve looked pretty high quality. The charge tubes and the hose clamps all went on with no issues. We didn't have to stretch a hose or pull a hose real tight to get them on. It all went on pretty easy and um, overall I'm pretty happy with the install. What do you think CJ? It's your car and let me know what you think. Sounds good. Sounds good. Looks good too, right? Gotta take it for a rip for you. Soon. CJ's got a blue car and you know with red tubes. It looks freaking dope. It looks like it's got that sporty factor, I think. So more to come on this car, Evo Shocker coming soon. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the channel, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And then all of a sudden going